Yeah, the review today, uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit about this, the goal setter. Uh, this is a 72 inch uh, backboard glass uh, that uh, we got like uh, two or three years ago, I think now. Um, we, we actually also bought the wall mount. Uh, you can see that it's, I have it mounted uh, on the wall here with, I don't know how many really deep screws. Um, they, uh, what I did was make a, in this shed, I made a two by six sandwich basically that, you know, I just put one after another after another. And one of these, the beam is like these three right here. One, two, three, this is like the actual beam that goes the, to the top of the shed. And the rest of these are just two by sixes I added to the side and then bolted, bolted them in from both the ways. So uh, to keep it all sturdy. Um, and then when they finish later, they finish the shed with all the uh, particle board and everything like that. That, get, that really s kept it from swaying from side to side. Initially when I made this, uh, that sandwich there, two by six sandwich, it, it would have some sway from left to right, uh, you know, if you hit a shot. But anymore, like after they added that, it doesn't sway at all. Um, it also has an adjustable, uh, lever here that you can go up and down you can twist it one way or the other i don't want to adjust it right now because uh, it's already on 10 foot uh, the downside of this if you're going to adjust it up and down a lot this thing kind of stinks <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to to move up and down i i don't know if they've improved it at all but uh, my particular cylinder like it, you can go down really easy but going up is like a struggle like you got to have some muscle to, to to really raise it up. It might be the fact that this is a, a 72 inch model and it's heavier and that makes it a lot harder. But I really think they need like some sort of spring or something to offset it. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that it, that it doesn't. I know that uh, I've used some other people's and theirs are really easy to crank in relation. So I almost feel like this is missing, <laughs> missing a piece or something that uh, we didn't get, or if there's supposed to be a spring inside the, the cylinder that would make it easier. But in any case, I, I've been really happy with it anyway, regardless of that. Um, I kind of solved the problem because I needed two goals anyway. And after my son started needed to shoot on 10 foot uh, permanently, then the kind of whole problem kind of solved itself. So um, yeah, the, as far as the backboard, the quality, it's been really fantastic. Uh, this the the mount has been awesome you know even though it's hard to go up and down it's it really is really you know it's really sturdy and we haven't had one issue with it uh at all so yeah if you're looking for a basketball backboard combo like this is probably i looked over tons and tons of options before uh going with this and i can't think of any of them that are better has a better wall mount system than this um, there's, if you have a pole, there's lots of different options, but if you just straight wall, like it's hard for me to find a better option than this. So yeah, highly recommended. I think we bought the basketball goal off. I think we bought the whole thing off Amazon. You know, I think they were, a lot of times it's pretty cheap on Amazon and a lot of times that's free shipping too. So makes it like the no brainer to order from there. So, all right, well, hopefully this helps out. Um, if you have any questions, just message me or uh, visit my website. I'll have the link below the, this video.